So today on Tales of Hometown History, we're talking about the legend of Sergeant Reckless, the war horse in the Korean War that served with the Marine Corps and is the only horse in the history of the military that actually had attained a rank uh, of sergeant. So Sergeant Reckless is America's greatest war horse. Uh, we hear a lot of the stories like you have the movie out there, uh, War Horse, which was about World War I, followed the story of a young man whose farm horse was sold to the military, and eventually he went to serve in World War I and eventually found that horse again. Uh, it was directed by Steven Spielberg, really cool movie, a lot of emotions there. This is different than that, but a uh, very, very cool story nonetheless. Uh, Reckless carried ammunition to the front lines and helped rescue wounded soldiers. She was actually, <coughs> she was not brought over um, from America. She was actually bought over in Korea. She was a uh, a uh, racehorse. And normally you'd think when a horse senses danger, his instincts tell it to run away as fast as possible. But uh, during 1950-53 to 53 Korean War, this one mare would run towards the danger. Uh, Staff Sergeant Reckless is the only horse, as I said, in U.S. history to have been promoted to the rank of sergeant. She was bought for $250 in 1952 by the U.S. Marine Corps' uh, a lieutenant at the Seoul uh, racetrack from a young Korean boy who needed uh, the cash to buy his sister an artificial leg. Uh, and this small horse would become America's greatest war horse. Uh, although she was she was bred as a racehorse, she was also part uh, Jeju. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right or not. Is a local breed uh, known for its hardiness, and that toughness would serve her well. Uh, she became a pack animal, and she was trained to carry ammunition for the anti-tank company of the Fifth Marines, and I believe that that is in the First Corps. The Marines called her reckless. It was sort of uh, after the they call it the re recoilless rifle, uh, but it's just basically a cannon. Uh, but it was dubbed reckless because it was really dangerous to handle. Uh, her primary trainer was platoon gunnery sergeant Joseph Lath Latham, uh, but many of the soldiers really remembered her fondly. Uh, she was all alone when she joined the Marines, uh, Robin Hutton wrote in her 2014 book, uh, Sergeant uh, Reckless, America's War Horse. But because horses are herd animals, the Marines became her herd. She bonded so deeply with them that Reckless would go anywhere and do anything to help her adopted family. She played an important role during the Battle of Outpost Vegas in the final stages of the Korean War between the U.S. and Chinese Armed Forces in March 1953. Uh, during this five-day bloody battle, uh, it's estimated to have cost the lives of a thousand American soldiers and two thousand Chinese soldiers. Reckless made fifty-one trips to resupply the guns with ammunition on one, ammunition on one day alone. Uh, all in all, uh, the small America ca carried three hundred eighty-six rounds of ammunition that would weigh about almost four thousand kilograms. And she walked about more than 35 miles through rice paddies and steep mountain trails. And after unloading the ammunition, Ram Reckless would then carry the wounded soldiers back down to safety, despite being injured twice herself. And astonishingly, Reckless did this all, all of this mostly by herself while being under heavy enemy fire. She was trained to lie down when under fire and to avoid obstacles such as barbed wire. She was a critical lifeline to the guns and that were firing in support of us. Sergeant Harold E. Wadley of the U.S. Marine Corps, who served with Reckless during the Korean War, wrote in a foreword to Hutton's book. And at times, the Marines would even use their own flak jack jackets to cover their comrade with un incoming fire from incoming fire. Reckless was a very special horse and undoubtedly, undoubtedly bonded through a spiritual connection of love with her Marines, said Wadley. The noise and waves of concussion can't be described, but she endured it all, once again said by Wadley. She said, I believe an angel had to be riding Reckless since she was alone and without a Marine to lead her. One of the interesting things about her, she sort of fit right in with the soldiers. 
She would sleep in the soldiers' tents at night and also endeared herself to fellow Marines in different ways. They said that Reckless had a voracious appetite. Uh, she would eat anything and everything, but especially scrambled eggs and pancakes in the morning with her morning cup of coffee. She also loved cake, Hershey bars, candy from the sea, rash, sea rations, and Coca-Cola. Even poker chips. She was, I think they said she ate like 30 poker chips at one point. And she would eat blankets and hats when she was being ignored or she was just trying to prove a point. She also enjoyed the occasional beer with her fellow Marines. Reckless, whose military decorations included two Purple Hearts, received a hero's welcome when she was shipped from Korea to the U.S. in 1954, with hundreds of people awaiting her arrival. She was twice promoted to Staff Sergeant, and she would spend the rest of her life at Camp, pa Camp Pendleton in California, where she gave birth to one filly and three colts. Although her death in 1968 was front-page news in the U.S., she was buried with full military honors, the horse had become somewhat of a forgotten hero in the decades that followed. There are also several statues that were put up in her memory, uh, one of them being unveiled at the Virginia National Museum of the Marine Corps and Heritage Center in 2013 and at Camp Pendleton in 2016. And then on the 50th anniversary of her death in Camp Pendleton at age 20, a thousand pound bronze statue of Reckless was unveiled at Hirsch at Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington by four Korean War veterans, including Wadley, who served with her. And it's cool because her, her statue is now right there with Secretariat, who was the winner of the 1973 Triple Crown and 1920s Champion Man of War. Uh, and an interesting thing is uh, Hutton said, her, horse, horses really run from chaos, but Reckless would run uh, ran towards the chaos and it had to do with uh, as I said several people it had to do with love that she had bonded so greatly with her soldiers that she was willing to do anything for them uh, I want to say a special thanks to Gail my friend actually I never heard of this horse before and uh, you know this is a really cool story and I felt like this would be another great tales of hometown history uh, video uh, and uh yeah, so, I mean, this was something that she had posted on Facebook, so I saved it and decided this will make a great story. And I think it does. It's just a really unique story. Uh, not a whole lot of these happened where one individual like this, in this case a horse, stood out so greatly. So, as always, I want to thank you for coming along and discovering more of this hometown history with me. And, as always, we'll see you all about town.